Happy Friday, everybody. We're here in downtown St. Petersburg with our PSDA board chair, Darden Rice, and our vice chair from Pinellas County, Commissioner Janet Long. We're right along First Avenue South, across from Tropicana Field, and right behind us is one of the many new residential developments cropping up along this corridor. But what's special about this corridor is that it'll be the home of the very first bus rapid transit line in the region, stretching from the Gulf Beaches to downtown St. Petersburg. I was pleased to chair the St. Pete City Council last week when we unanimously passed a resolution pledging our support for the BRT. It's exciting to know that this project is on track to be the first Tampa Bay transit project to advance through the federal process and to be open to the public by 2020, which we know will create even more jobs and spur economic activity in our great city. Darden, not only is it great for St. Petersburg, but it's great for Pinellas County and our entire region. As the PSTA representative of the new T. Barter Board, which met for the first time last week, I'm seeing a real collaborative and regional thinking going on. And by moving this Central Avenue BRT project forward, I know that it can be the first of many transit corridors in a comprehensive regional transit plan that's being developed right now. We are so grateful for the partnerships that we've been able to strike to bring this project forward. We've submitted our federal grant and we are looking forward to serving our community with the very first bus rapid transit in the region. For more information on this project, go to PSTA.net. Have a great weekend. Bye.